GeneArt Large Order Assistant. The Large Order Assistant supports efficient ordering of large projects, up to 50 strings DNA fragments, or fully cloned genes, with optional subcloning and plasmid preparation can be handled in one process. This includes optional optimization for maximum protein expression. This large order tool is ideal for projects with larger numbers of constructs or multiple projects with identical needs, like subcloning and cloning sites. The assistant supports tabular data input, which will get transformed into the standard icon view in the end. To start the process, drag and drop the large order assistant icon onto the drop area. Then open the tool by clicking the icon. The first tab collects some general project information. Select whether you want to order gene synthesis or strings DNA fragments. We will continue with gene synthesis and show strings DNA fragments later in this tutorial. For gene synthesis, choose the biosafety level and indicate if you will enter a DNA or a protein sequence. For protein sequences or for gene expression optimization, your expression host is required. Open the list here to choose from. Please note that expression in some hosts requires a COSAC sequence. This will be indicated by an activated checkbox that you should then click. The following section allows you to order subcloning and larger plasmid amounts. Please note that an input tab for subcloning will only show up if you select a vector here. For subcloning, you can choose from a selection of our popular in vitro gene expression vectors. A list of your individual vectors will also be available once you have stored them with us. Move to the Sequence tab to enter your sequences. Light color here indicates editable fields for your sequence input. You can paste or enter your sequence information directly, or use the input window with sequence information in FOSTA format. Alternatively, you can directly upload a FOSTA file. Then push the Transfer Sequences to Table Below button. Now your sequence information will show up in the table. If you have selected subcloning, a name for the subcloned construct will be automatically added, which can be edited later. If you want to optimize your gene, you must fill the sequence field with only the coding sequence. Consider this too when uploading or entering FOSTA sequences. If entering protein sequences, you must use an asterisk to indicate your stop codon. Use the 5' prime and 3' prime appendix fields to add your required UTRs or flanking cloning sites. In case of a wild-type DNA sequence, you may attach the UTRs or cloning sites directly to the sequence. Either way, cloning sites are always mandatory if you want to do subcloning. Moving to the Subcloning tab, edit the construct names if required. Then select your 5' prime and 3' prime cloning sites. Double-click each cell to open a list with available sites to choose from. The following example shows subcloning of a wild-type sequence, meaning the cloning sites are allowed to be directly attached to the sequence. Double-click into each cell to select the corresponding vector cloning sites. Then click Start Cloning to perform an automated online cloning. Output will be a number indicating the identified cloning strategy. Check whether the selected strategy is in accordance with your intention. If not, click on the Cloning Strategy field to select the available alternative options. When you are done with all of your inputs, move to the Summary and Finalization tab. Review your project summary. Then push the Data Pre-Check button to start your check out of the Large Order Assistant. If all data input was verified to be valid, confirm that you want to proceed. Then push the Data Processing button. After a final confirmation, the assistant will go offline for processing, allowing you to do other jobs in the meantime. Processing time depends on the project size, the sequence lengths, and whether optimization is required. During data processing, you cannot open the icon. This is indicated by a red flag. As soon as you receive your confirmation email, click to open and continue. Flag will still be red. Check that all status columns of all line items show a green flag, confirming data integrity and final OK. If you receive yellow or red flags, adjust the order according to the messages provided. If everything is fine, push the button to translate your setup into individual service icons. Continue to close the large order assistant and generate your icon view of the project. If you still need to perform changes within the assistant, click Cancel. 
you can now proceed to summary. You can also, if needed, open individual icons to further edit the details. How to order strings DNA fragments with a large order assistant. Strings DNA fragments are ordered exactly the same as gene synthesis, with only one difference. Since strings DNA fragments are uncloned, double-stranded DNA fragments, no subcloning and plasmid prep services are available for this product. Importantly, do not forget to add cloning sites or stuffers to your sequences for processing in your lab. Please note that not all sequences qualify for production as strings DNA fragments. You will receive a message recommending that you order gene synthesis instead, which can produce DNA of nearly any sequence. No further information is required in the case of wild type strings DNA fragment sequences. Move to the Summary tab and continue to check out based on the three steps as described for gene synthesis. If required, you can click Save and Close at any time and continue later with your order. Again, check that all line items have a green flag, confirming the integrity of all data before generating the icon view. You can directly click on Proceed to Summary from there. If you want to optimize your gene or string's DNA fragment for expression, first, select the appropriate expression host for sequence optimization on the General Info tab. Select Add a Kozak Sequence when the selection is available depending on the host organism. Click on the Sequence tab. When you add your sequences, upload the prepared coding sequence only. If you require cloning, add the flanking cloning sites, or UTRs, by including them in a second step using the 5' prime appendix and 3' prime appendix fields. These sequences will be avoided during optimization. If your sequence already harbors the flanking cloning sites, you can edit the sequence directly and cut and paste the sites into the appendix fields. Within the sequence field, you can switch from the 3' prime to 5' prime end by using the up and down arrows of your keypad. When you add a sequence into the appendix field and confirm copying it to all the line items, don't mind that all empty line items get filled. Finally, if some cloning sites are not allowed to be generated by the optimization, you can select them in this list or add them individually. Proceed as described earlier with wild type sequences to check out from the large order assistant. No further actions are required. The sequence optimization will happen during the offline processing. It can then be checked in the icon view. Click Proceed to Summary. After proceeding to summary, please note the Excel spreadsheet. It summarizes your project, including all sequences. Check the correctness of all sequences before you add them to your cart for ordering. If available, you can select order speed upgrades here and receive your individual sequence analyses and sequences for download.